second chance being in this tournament in the first place. We're seeing just how resilient he is here. But he's caught, caught! There's the back to the future from Kushida, and Kushida takes it. And he got him. He got him. Face first into the mat. Lethal will try and end it. The lethal injection. Can he nail it? No. Oh god. Oh god. The cross arm breaker again. The cross arm breaker again. Saber Junior. Oh, he's. Oh, he's transition. Saber Junior transitions the submission. Lethal has nowhere to go. Lethal nowhere to go. And he taps. He taps. He taps. He taps. Take a deep breath. Oh, this, oh, is, this is going to be something else. Kushida, this year's best of the Super Juniors, the five-time and current IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion is three wins away from taking the Pro Wrestling World Cup back to Japan. He's making them wait, but when he arrives, I promise you, it will be worth any amount of weight. Kushida and Zack Sabre Jr. Our last quarterfinal on the way. The following is a Pro Wrestling World Cup quarterfinal match scheduled for one ball. Representing Japan, this is Kushida! Kushida, you see him decorated in the gold there. The titles from uh, Ring of Honor and New Japan. Posting some gold, isn't he? It's Kushida. He is a, a world travel sensation. He's got two belts, but he's looking for a cup. He is well on course to get there, but if he's going to continue that journey beyond tonight and take it to Manchester, to Newcastle, I should say, for the semis and final potentially on Saturday. And he is going to have to beat a man who many have called the best technical wrestler in the world. Zack Sabre Jr., the third of three English competitors in these quarterfinals. And as a proud Englishman, it's delights me to tell you, the first two made it through. We could be in a situation here where three of the four in those semi-finals are from this green and pleasant aisle. Joseph Connors, Will Osprey already there. Will this man join? those fine pro wrestlers in the semi-finals. Technical excellence. Technical ecstasy. <laughs> the crowd roaring in anticipation. Here he is, England's own, Zack Sabre Jr. And representing England, Zack. Part Zack Sabre Jr. has had on his way here to the quarterfinals of the Pro Wrestling World Cup. Last night, that round of 16 match against Jay Lethal, simply one of the best things we've seen here. It was incredible, just from start to finish, what you saw throughout all the hype, throughout all the magic, everyone in, in Planet Ace, everyone felt it in Milton Keynes, but Zack Sabre Jr. He kept calm and he isolated the pun intended, that body part of Jay Lethal, the arm, and it paid dividends because that was the winning factor for Sabre Jr. Can he do the same here against Kushida? Sabre Jr., as well as that victory over Jay Lethal, beat Marty Skull and Jimmy Havoc way back in the uh, English qualifiers, the first qualifying tournament back in March. Kushida, for his part, beat Sho Tanaka and Bushi those Japanese qualifiers before a victory over Kenny Williams of Scotland last night. You have to believe the entire wrestling world is salivating over this match. A hush descends as this crowd completely absorbed by what we are surely about to see here. Sabre Jr. looking already to, to pick a part because she's a pick a body part. And he, <laughs> you best believe if Sabre Jr. picks one, he'll stick with it for the rest of the bout. Saw that yesterday against Jay Lethal, Sabre Jr. Look at this. So dangerous. And yeah, this 
after the uh, war of attrition on the mat here between Sabre Jr. and Kushida. I think Sabre just about had the better of that. I'm breathless just watching that. These guys are just getting started and I'm out of breath. Kushida cannot let what happened to Jay Lethal happen to him though. If, if, if Sabre Jr. gets a hold of that arm or a leg and picks it to pieces, it's real trouble for the Japanese star. It's a lot easier said than done though. To, to prevent Sabre Jr. from doing that. See uh, Kushida wrapping the legs around. No, Kushida on top of Osprey, or rather Sabre Jr. Kushida. But I can't get Will Osprey out of my head, Dave Bradshaw, after what we've just seen. Well, incredible just how thick and fast these matches are coming in this World Cup, but Sabre Jr. and Kushida here, a very cautious start against each other. As well, they might be cautious because they have tremendous respect for one another, know exactly what the other man has accomplished across the globe. And these early exchanges here, I think you're seeing a little bit, by the way, of, of that MMA background that Kushida has. He was uh, had a, a very successful but brief career in mixed martial arts. Six wins, two draws, no defeats oh. before deciding to turn his attention to pro wrestling full time. And he's been successful in this sport as well. The man is a supremely talented individual. I mentioned this yesterday, but both of these guys have uh, also had a lot of success, and I mean a lot of success when it comes to tournament wrestling. Kushida, the winner of the best of the Super Juniors, both this year and in 2015. Zack Sabre Jr. got to the semi-finals, of course, of the WWE Cruiserweight Classic last year. More recently, he was in the G1 Climax Tournament in New Japan, where he had a spectacular debut. Five wins out of nine there. And look at this. Sabre Jr. just stepping over Kushida to, to apply more pressure. Sabre Jr. with his arms wrenched backwards of Kushida. Kushida trying to battle him here. Sabre again countering the counter, if you like, and back to square one. This live crowd in Manchester, as are we living every single movement of these two incredible wrestlers. And Sabre Jr. this time couldn't stop the counter. Kushida now reversing the pressure. Sabre float over into a pin attempt. He's also got the arm hooked in, in position for what I thought I was going to be a, kim a Kimura there. Well, I think Kushida fortunate to almost fall on top of the bottom rope. I don't think that was fully intentional. But Kushida is a master of the... Kimura, we've uh, seen that already this week. Not just in tournament matches, but Kushida had a hell of a match against Travis Banks at Stacked on Tuesday, where he beat him with one of the more vicious Kimura looks you've ever seen. It was particularly brutal, that one. Almost ripped Banks' arm straight out of the socket. I'm busy talking about what Zack Zach Sabre Jr. might do to Kushida's arms and legs, and maybe it's the other way around. Kushida back on top. Fingers back, you see that? And now Sabre getting uh, off his off his back so he can't be caught in a pin situation. Both men on their feet now. Camera crew doing a wonderful job here at the Pro Wrestling World Cup, catching every minute detail. Kushida again not allowing himself to be taken down, much like Zack Sabre Jr. just a moment ago. Kushida now has Sabre Jr. grounded, and as you see, Sabre Jr. in the middle of the ring, but he rolls over. Sabre, grabs the head, takes it down, and Kushida again back up. See, I think Kushida is very well aware of exactly what you were talking about. You can't allow Zack Sabre Jr. to get a sustained period of offense because he will hone in on one particular body part, and that is why Kushida is making sure he always gets straight back up. See it again, twice there. And now a third time. So important to stay out of the grasp, and look at this. The Intensity of this match starting to amp up. Very respectful in the early goings, but uh, well, there's a semi-final berth at stake here. And don't both these men know it? Kushida is uh, having a conversation with referee Joe Allen. Not sure what that was about. Anyway, referee is happy. 
these two uh, go back to the drawing board against each other. And look at Sabre Jr's movements, always looking to isolate one body part, as we've said numerous times. Sabre able to go behind, trying to grab the rear waist lock. A drop toe hold. Kushida going to float over, grab the front face lock. Sabre trying to, oh. yeah, Sabre trying to escape, but again Kushida's holding on. You see. Oh, and that's just uh, that's almost uh, a little statement from Kushida, being a message, if you like, being sent to Sabre Jr. Yeah, group on uh, Sabre Jr.'s face there, staring daggers at Kushida, <laughs> and there, there we go. The push from Sabre Jr. I think slowly but surely, respect is flying out the window. Maybe trying for a backside, Kushida. Didn't land quite how he wanted it, but he's got it. Transition so quickly. That's the thing. When, you're, when you have such an encyclopedic knowledge of wrestling holds like both of these two do, if plan A doesn't work, well, you've got at least 50 other plans you can resort to. True man of um, 1,000 holds. Here in Manchester, oh, me. Um, look how he's twisting the neck. Look how Sabre Jr. was twisting the neck of Kushida there. There's another one. God, that looked absolutely tortuous. Almost twisted his head, Kushida's head, right off his shoulders. Sabre puts the shoulders down. It's a thing that both men need to be very, very conscious of. Never let your shoulders be put in that compromising position for too long. I think you're absolutely bang on the money, Joe Bradshaw, when you said that uh, Kushida must tap into his MMA knowledge if he's going to win out here against Zack Sabre Jr. because this is a different kind of match than Kushida has had so far in this World Cup. Kushida's got the double underhook, he's rolling backwards, he's got Sabre down and again, possible problem, that's why Sabre's bridging, make sure those shoulders stay off the mat. Sabre floating over this time. Complete clinic here from both these men, it's so, so interesting to watch. He's got those legs tied up, and uh, Kushida, in fact look at the, uh, I didn't see the left, le the left leg, Sorry, the right leg, I should say, of Kushida was wrapped around the back of the head of Zack Sabre Jr. Not only was that a pin, but it was also a submission at the same time. Stunning. Insane, you're absolutely spot on by saying stunning. And look at this now, Kushida back on, back on the offensive. Over the bow and arrow, Sabre escapes into a lateral press. And a big standoff. And again, we're back to where we started. Except, of course, that both of these guys have been twisting and pulling at each other's bodies for... For a long time now, so... And isn't, isn't it incredible, sorry to cut you off, isn't it incredible to think that both these men are still very much in the feeling out process of this main event? I think we've seen this week just how monumental this World Cup has become in the wrestling world, and uh, neither of these men prepared to take any kind of risk here that would cause them to be eliminated and miss out on what is going to be an unforgettable night in Newcastle on Saturday. Both Kushida and Sabre Jr. want to be a part of that in Newcastle. Kushida, snap mares, he's changing snap mares here. Sabre, oh, oh. Him oh. goodness me, the neck of Kushida. And you saw what happened there. And Kushida writhing in agony. We referenced it 24 hours ago when Zack Sabre Jr. met Jay Lethal. There's no wasted movement in Sabre Jr. Everything he does is with purpose. Poise and purpose. It's a, it's a lethal combination, no pun intended, given Jay Lethal's involvement in the conversation. Sabre. Pulling uh, Kushida by the leg back into the middle of the ring. And going for kind of a half crab. He got his foot on the face. Look at that. I thought he was going to try and bury the knee into the back of the neck. Instead, it's the, the foot and oh. transitioning. Yeah, into the STF. STF, and Kushida knows he has to get to the ropes very quickly. But look at that from Sabre. As he reached his arm out to get to the ropes, he grabbed it. In the end, Kushida uses his other arm. Kushida. Finding out just how lethal Sabre Jr. can be in terms of grabbing any flailing limb and twisting it. And Sabre Jr. not leaving uh, Kushida alone, coming back for more, receives a chop for his troubles. And another. Sabre reverses the Irish whip. Kushida rolls through victory roll. It's, oh, instead he transitions into a submission. Oh, he's got the ankle, twisting at the ankle. The leg bar as well. And 
Sabre Jr. into the uh, into the ropes again. He knew just like Kashida a moment earlier, he had to get there very very fast, or he could have been in real trouble. Right. What's interesting about this, Dave, as well, is uh, Sabre Jr. spent so much time in this match on the mat. But uh, normally for most men, that's a disadvantage, being off your feet. Not so for Zack Sabre Jr. He's dangerous no matter which position, prone or standing. Sabre. With his leg caught here by Kushida. That'll do some damage. Sabre Jr. Trying to uh, find a way to count. You see his brain always working, Sabre, but the left leg rammed into the canvas by Kushida. Kushida has the advantage here. You can feel the momentum starting to swing his way. Kushida again grabbing the leg. Dragon screw takedown. Is he going to try for... Maybe a figure four, no, he's just twisting the leg around. Interesting that Kushida is the one isolating the body part, focused on Sabre Jr's legs. There's a, a variation on the figure four, you see how that right leg of uh, Sabre Jr is at a right angle. It's a horrible position, right across the left knee. And what that's doing is that whole body weight of Kushida, as he sits down on it, is uh, applying extra pressure, but Sabre has found one way out because he's bending the fingers backwards of Kushida. Stomps on the elbow, oh my god, how painful does that look? Just a straight up stomp, nothing fancy about that one, but that doesn't matter, it doesn't need to be, to be effective. Sabre Jr. and Kushida have this crowd in Manchester absolutely mesmerised. There is only one spot left to join King Ricochet, Joseph Connors and Will Ospreay in the semi-finals on Saturday night. Kushida definitely Japan's last hope in the Pro Wrestling World Cup. Sabre has got both the arms here of Kushida. Wrenching them backwards, you see the head between the legs as well. Going for the armbar, maybe go for that cross arm breaker, the article 15. And Kushida. Clever. Knew he couldn't reach out with the hands, the arms, used the legs instead. Mm -hmm. Ironically, uh, Sabre Jr. feeling the pain in his own legs. Sabre Jr. is uh, being asked by referee Joel Allen to back off with Kushida a chance to recover, but not re he's not required by the rules to do that, of course. No, absolutely not. This is sheer competition. Sabre's got the hair. Kushida drops the arm of Sabre Jr. across the top rope. It's one of the first times Kushida hasn't been able to focus on the leg. A desperation move, having to uh, harm the arm, so to speak, instead. Sabre Jr. wriggling his fingers there. I'm sure he's still got feeling up and down his arm. And they're nose to nose now. This is a bit of a standoff, even though both men are seated. Sabre Jr. and Kushida know they are locked in a tactical masterclass here. This is like a game of chess. You're absolutely spot on there. Every movement counts in this match. Chess will be looking at two grandmasters because this has been remarkable stuff. Kushida and Sabre Jr. Kushida with a kick to the side of oh. Sabre. Hits back with an uppercut. That almost melted the body of Kushida. Nonchalant kick to the face there of Kushida. And Sabre Jr., who has a slightly uh, tetchy streak occasionally. When things aren't going his way, you can see that, that competitive streak can boil over in Zack Sabre Jr. from time to time. Sheer frustration, I would say, when this man's such a tactician. Look at the leap throw. That one, that one didn't quite work out for him, and again. And Sabre Jr. is throwing a lot at Kushida here, but Kushida throwing some right back at Sabre. Right in the ear, I think, of Sabre Jr. was that kick. Yeah, there's uh, Japanese fans and some people from around the rest of the world who are 
cheering for Kushida. Well, this man is cherished in pro wrestling, and right, rightly so. Similar, the same could be said of Zack Sabre Jr. Kushida trying to wrench the arm, and uh, Sabre Jr. fights back with those strikes to the face. Oh, oh, those uppercuts. Oh, oh, Kushida trying to sweep the leg. Again, he's got the leg hooked, trying to hyperextend the knee. And Sabre has countered into the move of his own. Kushida looking almost bewildered that Sabre was able to reverse that. Sabre Jr. Look at the angle of the ankle of Kushida. And this is a real, real tactical battle we're witnessing here in the quarterfinals. A tangle of limbs between these two. You can tell by the screaming of Kushida that it is he who's in the most pain. They are both in agony though. Each man, each man stretching the other here and a Mac classic as Kushida and Zack Sabre Jr. doing the same thing both booting each other in the face to try and relieve the pressure eventually we might get untangled throughout all the respect this. though Bradshaw we're seeing little flourishes of disrespect exactly what I'm talking about big open hand slap from Sabre Jr. Sabre Jr. With the upper hand just about. And they Which see, man yeah. make it to their feet though? That's the question. You can see Saw from start to finish. And they're not at the finish yet because both men gradually getting up to their feet. Both men still in this. And through all this, Joseph Connors will be watching. Waiting. This is the winner. Oh. You see the kick to the side of the head, got the better of that exchange. Kushida with a roar of defiance. Sabre in the opposite corner. Sabre! Saw him coming, boot goes up. Sabre Jr., middle turnbuckle. Tries to catch him with the uppercut and instead into the armbar. The armbar. A move that Zack Sabre Jr. himself loves to deploy. Sabre Jr. has that butcher's hook grip to stop his arm going out, but he's, it got broken. Sabre has to counter very, very quickly. He floats around on top and now arm breaker attempt of his own. And it swings back the other way. Sabre Jr. trying desperately to, to bar Kushida's arm himself, but once again, now it swings again. It's going to an ankle lock. Ankle lock by Sabre. Pushed away by Kushida. This is a real war of oppression between Kushida and Sabre Jr. We could be here a long time. Happily, happily, when the, the competition is this fierce. Tornado DDT attempt, gets it, uses the rope for extra damage, and here's the Kimura, here's the Kimura lock, the Kimura lock. We've already seen Kushida win matches this week with that very move, and Sabre Jr. knew it, he got very, very quickly to the bottom rope. Isn't it interesting how Kushida has changed his tactics mid-match, focused on the leg at first, obviously felt that wasn't getting the job done, he switched to the arm, he's having a bit more success. But can he put Sabre Jr. away? Only one man can advance to the semi-finals. Kushida springboard. Tomahawk chop. Right to the top of the head. And Danny Muto, he's caught. He's caught triangle lock. The triangle lock from... From Sabre Jr. Tri triangle choke and he's trying to... Get out, Kushida gets out with the hand. Stand and a kick into the side of the head. But Kushida now using that top rope to as he tries to breathe in some air that he desperately needs. And Sabre Jr. ends up with uh, Kushida imbalanced on his shoulders. Kushida falls back onto the apron. There's a the Kimura again. Obviously, they're in the rope, so submission can't be got, but he's going to use as much of these five seconds as he can. And how much damage was inflicted there? Well, this is exhausting just watching these two men pick one another to pieces. It's hypnotic as well it's just absolutely Mesmerizing, stunning yeah. the the amount of knowledge that these two have of the human body and how you can twist and turn an opponent in a million different ways i feel like we're all getting an education here tonight 
Ritchie to try to charge in. It's a little rash, and there's a PK, the penalty kick from Zach Sabre Jr. Again, nothing fancy, but that's not the point. Sabre Jr. needs anything at this point to get back into this match. That's one of the great strengths of Zach Sabre Jr. Is there are parts of his offense that aren't fancy. He can do every impressive looking arm lock and leg lock that you can imagine. He can also just kick you and punch you, do whatever he has to do. A deceptively good striker. And for another kick there. Sankashida moved out of the way, he's got the arms and he's into the Kimura again. The Kimura again. Sabre, you see, instantly puts his three arm back to try and hook it onto the arm that's being attacked. He did get out, Sabre, the uh, uppercut on Sabre Jr. Oh, and this, this could be trouble for Kishida. He has to not only carry his own body weight, but also Sabre Jr.'s. Sabre Jr. using all of his weight, as you say. And now, but look, the Kimura again. Kushida knows what his game plan is here. Over the top, the bridge. Zack Sabre Jr. out at two. The Kimura, by the way, was still applied during that pin. Unbelievable. And look at this scene, Dave Bradshaw. Manchester, you used the word hypnotized by what we are seeing inside the ring. This for the final spot in the semis. Kushida, DDT. Oh, he's going to roll through. Look at this from Kushida. I'm going to go for the back to the future. Sabre. The overhead kick into the arm of Kushida. Working on that arm again, Sabre Jr. Time and time again. This man, an absolute expert when it comes to inflicting punishment on one limb, but reversed by Kishida. Sabre Jr. Oh! He's going for a DDT with a suplex in the end, such was the force with which he lifted Kishida over his head. And what next in this seesaw battle? Sabre Jr., another kick. This time lands on top. All his body weight going for the pin. Again, Kushida out. Well, the energy expended by both these men throughout this match has been immense. It really has, but at this point, both Sabre Jr. and Kushida must, they must really be feeling it at this point. You can see both men sucking wind, looking for that second wind that could take them into the semi-finals. Who's going to get it? That's the question, the million dollar question. I don't even know how long this match has been going on now. It's, it's, it's just been so absorbing from start to finish. I don't know if we've been here 10 minutes or an hour. Sabre Jr. Kashida tries to roll through again. He's trying to pick up the leg, is he? No, he's going for the arm breaker. The arm breaker. Sabre Jr. Oh, now a dragon suplex with the bridge to go through to the semis. Kashida out again. Stunning stuff. Again, though, a brief respite for both these men, but uh, they're in real pain. Especially Kushida after that one. <laughs> Referee putting a count on to both men. We can't see it in this way, Bradshaw. This would be a crying shame if there's a double count out after the clinic that Sabre Jr. and Kushida have put on for all of us. We don't need to worry about that. I don't think Sabre Jr. is just getting his breath back. So is Kushida. Both men are going to make it up well before 10. They're both up now. There's a roundhouse attempt. Tries to sweep the legs. Overhead kick from Kushida. That roar from Kushida. The handspring. Back oh. elbow. Again, the cross arm breaker. He's trying to get that arm extended again. The butcher's hook attempt from Kushida to counter into the triangle choke. Triangle choke now. A transition from Zack Sabre Jr. Couldn't quite get the arm the full extension. He just transitioned into that triangle choke. You're absolutely right there, Bradshaw. And then the elbows into the head for good measure from Sabre Jr. Twisting and turning, leading him by the head. Now he's got both arms wrapped up. Look at the exasperation yeah. in the face of Sabre Jr. 
trying desperately to get this man, this man's body, because she does manipulate it to where he wants, he's got it. He's just improvising these as he goes, I think, Zack Sabre Jr. He's got the, the leg and the arm now tied up. Just be careful, keep his shoulders off the mat, and Shida realising he's near to the ropes. That is the quickest and smartest way out of that. Sabre Jr. <laughs> absolutely flummoxed. Where does he go from here? He's trying everything, everything he knows to put Kushida away, but the, the best of the Super Juniors winner showing exactly why he was afforded that accolade. Both of these men are absolutely exhausted. Conditioning has to come into this now, I think. Well, think again. The winner meets Joseph Connors 48 hours from now. Connors currently has his feet up. He's relaxing. Both these men going through an absolute war. Almost 100 years war. Don't forget the damage that was done to Connor's left leg earlier on. So it's a great point. Either way, he's not going to be at 100 percent even by Saturday. And both these men, Kushida and Sabre Jr., proving they can pick apart a body part. Sweat flying off the chest of Zack Sabre Jr. off that chop from Kushida. We are well past 11 p.m. here in the United Kingdom. As I said, we might be here all night. It's past my bedtime, Roger. It's been forearm from Kushida. Well, listen, if anyone's up early for work, this is the kind of wrestling match that you don't mind waiting up for. Clinic. Kushida, maybe looking for that back to the future. Sabre gets the shoulders down, look at the bridge, look at the bridge, shoulders down. Oh, how oh. close was that? How close was that? I think that was just, well, it had to be mere inches before referee Joel Allen's hand came down for the three there. Couldn't have been far, couldn't have been much in it. Sabre Jr. is uh, trying to get his breath back. Now, if this was earlier in the match, Sabre would be right back on Kushida, but we're at a point now, as I say, where both of them are so exhausted that they're going to have to take those occasional breaks just for a few seconds to get some air into their lungs. Definitely, and Sabre Jr. now though, back on top of Kishida. He's just grabbing the hair, but oh! Kicks now from both men. And here's that deceptive striking. I think Kishida thought he had the upper hand there, but Sabre Jr. deceptively good with his feet. And his hands. Oh God, the handspring. And both heels into the face of Sabre Jr. Crowd firmly in the corner of the only Japanese representative left in the Pro Wrestling World Cup. Kushida trying to lift Sabre Jr. onto the turnbuckle. And they are in precarious position, the forearms. Oh, there's a Kimura from Sabre. That's on the top rope. He's not going to get a submission up there, though, Dave Bradshaw. Yeah, it's technically in the ropes, you're right, but he's bending the fingers backwards. Referee wants the break, gets it after two. Sabre Jr. with a handspring. Again, the heels into Sabre Jr. from Kushida. Kushida feeling it from the live crowd here in Manchester who come to life along with him. There's the Kimura again. The Kimura again. Look at the hoverboard lock, known worldwide as the Kimura. He's trying to get that cinched in again on Sabre Jr. Oh, he held on, he held on, he held on to Sabre Jr. Both men land from the top. Sabre with his free arm trying to hook it onto the arm that's being twisted and contorted. Kim, uh, Kimura lock still locked in. Kushida, relentless. Sabre Jr. trying to reach the ropes. And is he going to get there? Sabre. Junior, he's not there. He was inches away. Kushida bridges backwards. Sabre Junior, and he got caught. Kushida, Kushida's your winner. Kushida is your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest and advancing to the semi-finals, Kushida. An absolute clinic. But Kushida, finally, eventually, 
picking up the win over Zack Sabre Jr. Well, you saw as soon as the referee had hit his hand for the count of three, Gochita the victor, Zack Sabre Jr. was ready to continue wrestling. He couldn't believe that it was over. But Gochita is the man who advances through the, the quarterfinals into the semi-finals of the Pro Wrestling World Cup. Tremendous, tremendous step. Zack Sabre Jr. I think cannot quite believe that he has not won that. What a battle. Nothing to be ashamed of whatsoever for Zack Sabre Jr. It won't be much consolation though that it was a great match to Zack Sabre Jr. He wanted to win. He wanted to be that third Englishman in the semi-finals, but it wasn't to be. Well, that may be so, but let me say this to Zack Sabre Jr. To have the kind of matches you've had twice in 24 hours against Jay Lethal and then Kushida, is, is something that very few people on this planet could ever do. No here, confirmation. It, yeah, here is the bracket then for the semi-finals. Kushida to face Joseph Connors, Ricochet against Will Ospreay. Our final four in this year's inaugural Pro Wrestling World Cup. It all comes to you from Newcastle. Live on YouTube, Saturday night at 7 p.m. In the meantime, for James R. Kennedy, this is Dave Bradshaw saying goodnight from a remarkable night in Manchester.